Hi, my name is Scott from the Economics Tutoring Center, and today we're going to be talking about weighted averages. So make sure to check my notation and language use with your instructor or online. Uh, so an average in general is when you sum up a, f a bunch of numbers and you divide by how many numbers there are. But sometimes you want to take into account that certain values are sort of worth more than others. You weight them. So first of all, to do a weighted average, you need a certain number of values, and so n values, and each value has to have a weight that goes along with it. Uh, here's the formula using, using summation notation. Um, an easier way, maybe a more intuitive way to look at it is right here. So what you do is you, you multiply your x values by their weights, you add all of those up, and then you divide by the sum of the weights. So you add up all the weights, divide by that. Um, where, and in this notation I have x value, the x's are just your values that you're averaging, the w's are the weights, and each x value has a weight that goes with it. Um, so a common example is maybe you want to calculate your GPA, um, but <clears throat> certain classes are different number of credit hours, and that sort of acts as a weight. Um, so GPA is like your grade point average, and so we can do a weighted average for this. Um, so here's just an example of a person's grades and how many credit hours each class was worth. And here's the grading scale where A is 4.0, B is 3.0, C is 2.0. So what we could do to calculate this weighted average is we multiply the weights times the x value. So our first weight is 4, and we multiply that by the x value that goes with this B. So the value towards your GPA for a B is 3. Then. Um, we have a weight of 3 for this A, and an A is worth 4. Then we have another weight of 3, and this C is worth 2 for the GPA. And then I'll add it over here to save some space. Again, we have a weight of 3 credit hours, uh, and it, the C adds 2 to your GPA. So this is the the numerator of our x bar of our GPA. So we're, we're multiplying the weights times their x values and adding all of those up. Um, then we divide by adding up the weights. So the weights are just the, the credit hours 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So if we add those all up, you can do it in your calculator or however you'd like. We have 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 3, 12, plus 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 times 2 is 6, and then divided by 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that gives us 13. Um, so we have 36 divided by 13, and you can plug that into your calculator. Um, it should be about 2.77. So that is how you calculate a weighted average, um, and a, a very common example is GPA. So I hope that helps. Okay. That's all we have today on weighted average, so if you have any other questions, ask your instructor or come into the tutoring center.